Right, thank you. Um, um, as young people from different political parties today, um, we were meeting in our workshop to discuss the way forward and how to move the struggle forward. Uh, we, we had over uh, 15 different political parties uh, coming for this workshop today and we came up with a number of resolutions which I may want the nation to know. Uh, firstly, we have agreed that as young people we are going to petition ZEC um, to demonstrate our unhappiness and our uh, on the requirement for proof of residence to register to vote. We feel this is an unjust law. Uh, for many young people who do not have um, uh, permanent residence, they have nothing to prove uh, for, for, for uh, as proof of residence which they need to register to vote. So there's no need for us to have them disenfranchised. So we're going to petition ZEC and we're going to do this by way of gathering all young people from Harare, we put them onto the streets, we all go to SEC and petition them and submit that petition to say we want that law scrapped for it is inconsistent with the law. Uh, we are also going to have community-based engagements as young people. So we are going to move around different communities to engage young people to make sure that they understand the need for there to be all this fight for electoral reform. So we are going to have quite a number of community engagements with young people. We are also going to take these initiatives to rural areas. We have agreed as youth from different political parties that we need to take this to young people. We need to take this to young people in rural areas, in, you know, in farming areas. So we are going to have programs to go right around the country to make sure that they are also participating in these processes and engagements. Um, we also have agreed that we need to mobilize young people to register to vote. So we are going to have some demonstrations and petitioning of ZEC to make sure that voter registration starts immediately. We feel that there is no need for a delay, like we are already seeing that there is a delay. At the same time, ZANPF is busy registering people. So we are not going to have none of that. We are going to push ZEC to make sure they register people in good time. And we need the voter registration process to start immediately under BVR. And, um, Lastly, we are going to continuously meet and hold these workshops and we are going to have another engagement with young people from different political parties to make sure that they, um, we, 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 we come up with programs to excite young people to take charge of their destiny, to make sure that they are excited to register to vote, to make sure that they are excited to register, uh, to, 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 to go and vote when election comes. And of course, most importantly, once we voted as young people, we want to make sure that we are excited and strong to stand to defend that vote. So these are the processes and procedure that we, are, we have agreed and uh, we will be implementing that uh, immediately. Thank you very much. You usually have uh, political parties with uh, the <coughs> now and then. Have you ever tried to raise some of the issues that you said today and what has been their response? Um, yes, we have. There are continuous engagements with ZEC, but some, some of these processes, they need extra pressure from that which we are already doing. And we feel this is a way and a means to push them to make sure that some of these points are quickly implemented. Uh, we are engaging with them and the process of engagement will continue. But we feel the response has been so slow in some of the issues that we have raised and we need to take it a, a, a level up. And this is what we have agreed. And uh, you have mentioned the issue of going into the rural areas, which is a stronghold for the ruling party. And it's not usually open to opposite party. How are you going to approach that? We will do it. It is within our rights as enshrined in the Constitution, you know, including Section 67 of the Constitution. We will not allow them to intimidate us and stop us from interacting and interfacing with Zimbabweans. And young people from the rural community, they need engagement with us. And we will make sure that we do it with whatever is at our disposal. We will follow due procedure. If we are holding big meetings, we will notify the police. If we are holding meetings that don't need notification to the regulating authority, we will not do that. We will make sure we reach out to the people because it is our mandate as opposition political parties and we will make sure that nothing stands in the way in achieving and fulfilling that mandate.